Hey guys, good afternoon. This is Faithlin with Elegance for Less. Thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome and thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you will like this DIY and decide to become a subscriber. If you do like the video, give me a thumbs up and share the video with your family and friends. I truly appreciate your time, your support, and I look forward to having a conversation with you if this is your first time. All right, guys. This DIY, you will need a lampshade of your choice. You're going to need two of these things. I really don't know what they are, but the Dollar Tree have them, and I haul two of them because I have several DIYs in mine. So I can share that these are new hauls. I've not seen these in my store before, so I'm excited to be able to work with it. You will need two of these skeleton heads. And they come off pretty, pretty easy. Just like that. Toss that in the trash. And you are going to need the Dollar Tree Diamond Wrap Adhesive. They also, if you can't find the adhesive one, you can use the one that you use your hot glue with. You will need a Dollar Tree mirror or you can go ahead and use a reflected um, sheet of paper now, I, I got this offline off Amazon, so I don't know where you can find it other than on Amazon. I have not seen it in the stores. So you can use that if you have it, and if you don't, you can use the Dollar Tree mirror. You will need a pen. You will need a light. This is the pressed light from the Dollar Tree. Your scissors, glue gun, and glue sticks. Now let's get started by removing all these things. And I must tell you guys, I hardly ever throw anything away because you can always come up with an idea. So this rope I'm gonna go ahead and keep. Guys, with my lampshade, I took the top of the lampshade and trace it out onto my reflected um, paper. And I also took a piece of cardboard that I had that I hauled from Michaels and I did the same. And I'm gonna share with you the reason why I decide to do the cardboard as well. Or card stock, it's not really cardboard, it's a card stock. So I went ahead and add diamond wrap all the way inside as well, just to cover where I add the paper. Then inside I add the mirror paper for the reflection. I decided I want to go ahead and add some of the Dollar Tree 
napkin rings. And so I've got four of them here. I want to add the diamond wrap and I went ahead and added to the three and now I'm going to finish it off on the fourth one. Make sure they're lined up. So I love the way that this looks, but I want to have more of a pedestal. So I grab a third base. And so you will need, I said earlier two, but you will need three because now I want to go ahead and add a bottom. It can sit perfectly fine on the round, but I think it would look much nicer if I add my napkin ring and make it a little bit taller okay so that's what i'm going for so i'm going to go ahead and add a generous amount of glue onto my napkin ring go ahead and finished my base and my top but I decided to make it three because I wasn't sure if it was going to be tall enough at two originally I said to go with four but I changed to five so you'll need five all together of the napkin ring three for the top so it'd be tall and two for the bottom I also made another change where instead of the push light that I was going to use originally I decided not to because it just doesn't illuminate as bright as I want it and because I also covered up the shade so I'm gonna go with the fairy lights you can go with the one from the Dollar Tree or you can go with the ones that Michael or Joann's or Hobby Lobby sells and this have three different lights and I absolutely love that so what I'm going to do, because I think it would be much better as well to glue it onto the side of the lamp so that um, I can turn off and on. So what I want to do now is go ahead. Oh, let's turn the slide off. So I'm going to go ahead and add to my battery a generous amount of glue. So make sure you find where you turn your battery, your lights on. You don't put the glue there, you put it on the back side. You want to put a generous amount. And I decided I want to add this to the diamond wrap, which is on the napkin ring. I think that would be a great place and I will share that with you right after once I've gotten it all together so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that all the way to the top onto my napkin rings hold it until it dry and that can be your backside because most times your lamp the switch is into attached to the back so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And in the meantime, I want to take my light and I wanna add some diamond wrap to hold it in place because I went around and basically create a circle with my light.
and I don't want it to come apart. So I'm going to go ahead and take my adhesive diamond wrap and I want to use that to hold it in place. Okay guys, so this is another setting on the lamp. Just wanted to share that with you. If you like the way that this turned out, give me a thumbs up and share the video with your family and friends. Guys, I truly appreciate your time, your support, and your comments. So leave me a message and let me know what your thoughts are about this quick and easy functional lamp.